Ni hao, wo shi Priscilla, wo shi Sunny. So there are lots of beliefs, customs, and superstitions in China. If you don't pay attention to it, you might offend Chinese. <gasps> but no worries, we'll give you some suggestions. But if you don't follow them, you might be in trouble. Don't leave your chopsticks upright in your rice bowl. Why not? Because you can't like an offering at someone's grave and I bet you don't want it like this way. Ah, oh, I don't want that. And I also heard that do not make sounds on the edge of the rice bowl. Yeah, tell us the reason why. Because uh, usually imagine the beggars on the street, they usually make sounds on their bowls to get attention so people can put money in their bowls, right? So true. So when you're eating a fish and you have finished one side, never turn off the other side. What? This is ridiculous. How can you finish eating the whole fish without turning it over to the other side? You just use your chopsticks like pull the fish from underneath. What? <laughs> no way. Because it originates from the southern of China. You know like in some like fishing village and the fishman wants to like uh, come like best wishes. Because they're afraid that if they turn off the fish, their boat might capsize the same way. <laughs> okay. So, okay, makes sense. Yeah, don't turn turn over the fish. Do not cut up or divide pears. Why? Because cutting up pears in Chinese is friendly, which means to depart. Yeah, you don't want to depart from your lovers or your friends. Mm hmm. And why don't you just like buy more pairs? Yes, and then each one can get one. Yeah. When you give gifts to someone in China, never give someone a clock as a gift. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> because in Chinese, giving someone a clock is song zhong, and the meaning of it is to bid farewell to someone's deathbed. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't be like that way. Yeah. And, and also, like in China, there's another thing you shouldn't give to someone. Oh yeah, which is do not give people shoes as a gift. No, because the meaning of it is kind of like, I want you to walk out of my life. Yeah, and also, xie, shoes, in Chinese it means bad luck. Mm. So, when you give shoes, it's like you're giving the bad luck to the people. No. Hmm. Do not wear green hats. Why? Um, because especially for guys, if you wear green hats, which means to be cuckolded. Oh. Uh, where does that come from? Uh, it originally comes from an uh, ancient Chinese story. So a guy betrayed it by his wife. At that time, he was wearing the green hat, so that's why. <laughs> and in Chinese, uh, "dai lu mao" means to wear green hats. So pay attention. Do not do it. If you go to the temple, there will be a door seal. Never step on it because it symbolizes the master's neck or shoulder. If you step on it, it means you are not respectful for this master or the house. Oh yeah, it's also like an um, obstacle that's uh, like a serious trouble that you need to get over the trouble instead of stuck in it, right? Making sense. Though we have talked a lot about superstitions, but it's really just a saying and doesn't matter. Yes, do not limit yourself of doing anything you want. Yeah, like for me, I do like the color green and I do have lots of green hats. Mm. Yeah, and actually I gave a clock to my friend as a gift because at that time I thought it was the best one. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching that. We'll see you next time. 再见!